morning, it's Monday, 9 o'clock, welcome on my channel, my name is Piotr and this is vlog about my life in Malaysia. Okay, stop laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, my wife is always laughing at me. This, so. this opening is a little <laughs> bit like special, I've not heard it before. <laughs> because who knows, maybe some new people are watching my, my channel, so why not, so I want to introduce a little bit. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, so today uh, we're going to the Thompson Hospital. Uh, I need to take my COVID test before tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna be. Always forget this word, but anyway, tomorrow. Admitted to yeah, the hospital. admitted to the hospital. So today we're going to the Thompson Hospital to do my COVID test. Yeah, and then we're gonna go for some breakfast. My wife gonna said to me that she's gonna take me for a special to the special place for a breakfast. So let's see what kind of a food I'm gonna eat now. Okay, guys. So see you soon in probably in hospital so here we are Thompson hospital let's find a place where I can do my test and let's have a hope that maybe five minutes and we can uh, go for some breakfast because I feel a little bit hungry so why uh, yeah anyway I have to come here again tomorrow in the morning so yeah so I'll just get my test tomorrow I will get the result they're gonna be straight away in the hospital it actually wasn't pleasant feeling to be honest with you I feel like someone actually touch my like a uh, like a brain oh it's disgusting but yeah that's it so now let's go back home well i mean let's go for some food because i already finished anyway my first test actually and oh it's really not good but what can i do this is the procedure that i need to go through so so i yeah, if i have to do things like this then ah, this is live anyway tomorrow i'm going back here so so another day here, so need to wake up in the morning, but now we're gonna go for some breakfast and uh, for something nice. We are in Kepong, in Kuala Lumpur. Actually, uh, well, my wife brought me to the one of the places that she wants to eat the breakfast, but it was closed, so we had to go back and try to find something to eat. This is how it looks like Kepong, one of the streets in the Kepong. There is a Tesco. Well, it used to it used to be the Tesco. Now is a now is a lotto. So, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna go to the food court and we're gonna go for some breakfast. That's what we're gonna do, just right now. Maybe we're gonna go for a dim sum. How about we eat dim sum a long time ago? Uh, we need to decide. It's always problem what to what to eat. There's so many things actually to eat that we don't know what actually we want to have. That's the Isn't this looking here nice, like a very specific, like a street in the Kepong? Trees, restaurants, Anjala. huh? Yeah, to be specific is uh, uh, Manjalara, Kepong. What is Manjalara? The place, this place. Oh, okay. Bakery, that Australian no, one. Oh, open. I'm so oh, yo. Maybe because of Monday, yeah. We tried to go somewhere there, but it looks like it's closed as well. Well, put that down. Yeah, that's another one. But I feel like a barbecue yeah. smell. Uh, this? They are doing the back one. Oh. There is some stuff, but it's empty. I don't know, we're gonna go somewhere there. Okay, guys, when we're gonna find the place, I'm gonna show you where we're okay, gonna go. Okay, so this is the place where we're gonna go. Let's have a hope that the food here will be quite amazing. I think it's gonna be the first time that I'm that I'm here anyway. I don't know, can you hear anything? But uh, yeah, we found our food and I'm gonna eat the char kway tiao. I got my tea with the milk. And yeah, I'm really hungry, so I just wanna eat it because I'm really But well, look at that, pork chop. Pork chop, egg fries. It's really nice. Let me try the, my dream. Yeah, it's quite good. Okay, let me, let me eat my food. I don't know if I tell you that, but I think the char kway tiao is uh, one of the best food that I actually have. I really like to eat. The problem is that it's not really healthy, so I, I can eat it just only from time to time because since I, yeah, it's oily, it's quite fat, so that's why I can't lose the weight, so that's the problem. Look at that. And one thing that I... I think I a little bit taught myself to accept is uh, eating the sweet sausage, which I don't really like, but 
when it's like over the chalk with the it's really really nice it was really nice and fast breakfast but I like that kind of a places I don't know I just I think I said that a few times already that I prefer to go to places like uh, you just saw that on the video instead of going to the, like a fancy restaurants or things like this because uh, I don't know I feel like uh, the food is more like authentic for me if we go into the places like this and I really really like it and uh, <laughs> what I want to try to say uh, basically uh, I didn't know when I come here that there is a place is like oh look at the color of a car <laughs> <laughs> do you will want a car, a car like this with a, with a color of a pink like a... anyway what I'm trying to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but anyway what I'm trying to say is like um, when I come to the Malaysia I didn't know that you have places like this that there is like a restaurant uh, but there is, there is actually like a stars inside that you can choose actually what food you want it's like a, it's like a food court actually so oh we call kopitiam yeah kopitiam so nice coffee or tea sometimes a little bit too sweet for me but i now know that uh, when i'm gonna order like a drink i need to tell them like uh, can you put a little bit less sugar for me but anyway food is cheap food is nice and i think maybe in the future if the situation will be better in Malaysia in the whole world then maybe I will do the business and I'm just gonna like uh, if there will be some tourists maybe from Poland maybe from Europe maybe I will be like a, uh, okay. I will, yeah mm -hmm. I will be like a tour guy and I'm gonna show them where you should go for a good food to don't pay too much don't spend too much money on some restaurants let's go for a, let's go for a, like authentic food and I already can say that I have already few like restaurants that uh, I already know where is the good food and it's actually cheap food so yeah maybe that will be my my new business in the future who knows why not we are back at home so thank you for watching this short video this vlog my life in Malaysia see you in the next one probably on Thursday if you're new on the channel please subscribe leave the like if you like it share thank you have a good day bye bye